Okay, we've got the cabin reattached, went through and uh, resecured the um, the motor cord harness had come loose and it was flopping around whenever it got up to speed on the spin cycle and it was banging the side of the cabinet over here so it's making kind of a noise and a lot of time you'll hear that and think that it's something going on with the bearings or whatnot but it but it was not in this case it was that power cord whipping across so that being secured down runs smooth sounds great this guy's in excellent shape so we're gonna move on to the dryer now yep this sounds great the dryer is not matching um, so it'll just be whatever dryer we decide to sell with this set we put that video together so you can see the washer and the dryer we decide to sell with it in the same video it saves a little time so thanks and we'll move on to the dryer okay, working on a Kenmore dryer here and uh, it's in excellent shape it's working really good it had been thumping around bumping around and we went in and replaced the wheels and the idler pulley so um, all that's new in there got a really heavy jeans and towel load in it uh, so what I'm gonna do here is show you that it does in fact heat up a little heat gun shows the outside temperature at 76 and so we'll come down here open this guy up and that's where the heating element, you see it's still red. I don't really need to test it, but inside the heating element tube, 345, and the inside's about 135. So it does heat up and it runs good. And like I said, that's a heavy jeans and towel load there. It's running great. It's not shaking around. It's not bouncing. It sounds good. So we'll get this one paired with that washer and get them up for sale. Thanks.